So the purpose of this video is to show you how to use effects chains or even track templates as presets in Reaper. And let me show you what I mean. Let's create a new track over here. Let's say we wanted to add an EQ to this track. Go to our effects, type an EQ to the filter, and let's choose the re-EQ plugin. Double click it, and that adds that EQ plugin to this track. But let's say we just want to use it to cut some lows in our track. We could turn on the low filter. We could delete the bands we're not using. Maybe remove some mid-range. This is a good start for low cut EQ. Now we could save this as a preset right here by choosing save preset, or even save the preset as a default. So every time we open up our EQ, it's gonna start like this. That's not very useful as we tend to use our EQ in many different ways, not just as a low cut EQ, but I still wanna use this a lot quicker than opening it up and changing the preset. And luckily we could do that using effects chains. Now, typically you think of effects chains as multiple effects, but really we could use it just for one effect if we want, like we're gonna do in this video. So let's rename it first by hitting F2 and we'll name it low cut EQ. So we can remember what we're using it for. Then we'll right click over here, go to effects chains and save selected effect as a chain. We'll name it low cut EQ and save it. And now next time we want to use this, we can go down here to our effects chains and just choose it from here. And now it opens up exactly as we saved it with a low filter and low mid range ready to be reduced right here. Or we can just right click on the effects button and choose it from the effects chains right here. Low cut EQ. That also adds it right to our track. Let's do the same thing on the high end. Let's add another EQ, choose re EQ again. But this time, we're just going to use it for boosting the top end, maybe with a high shelf and also boosting the mids. And I could save this as a starting point for high boost EQ. Again, we can rename it by hitting F2. And this time, I'm going to select all of the text and copy it. This way, we don't have to type it again. Just right click it, go to effects chains. Save selected effects as chain. And now we can just paste it in and save it. And now if we want this effect, go to our effects chains and it's right over here, ready to be used. Or again, we can just right click the effects button, go to our effects chains and choose it right here. That also adds it directly to our track. So now we have two effects ready to go for very different purposes, all saved just using effects chains for one effect instead of multiple effects, which also saves the preset and the name of the effect over here. Let's try the same thing with a compressor. Let's use the rear comp compressor. Let's say we wanted to use this as a de with a faster attack and release and adjusting the high pass filter to just work from five kilohertz up. So it's really being used as a de -esser. So we can rename it based on that use. Again, we could select it and copy the name and save it as an effects chain. So you selected effects as chain and just paste it, save it. And now if we ever want to use this effect as a starting point, double click, Go to our effects chains and just choose it right here. And now we're starting exactly at that same point without saving a preset and it loads right up. Or again, we can just right click on the effects button and choose it right here. And a compressor opens right up to the DSer preset we set up. And I could also use this for noise reduction. I tend to use the Reaffer plugin right here, but I change it so the edit mode is precise, the size is 1024 and best quality, and the mode is subtract. 
So we can subtract any noise we build by hitting this button and playing it into this plugin, creating a noise reduction plugin. And again, I want to start at this point, but instead of saving it as a preset, let's rename it, save the name, and save it as an effects chain. Right click, go to effects chains, save selected effect as chain, and just paste it into here. And again, if I want to use it at any point, just double click, go to my effects chains, and choose it right here. Or just right click the effects button, go to effects chains, and choose noise reduction right here. And I'm ready to go right away. Now, this also gets more powerful if we use it for VST instruments, where we could save our presets ready to go. Let's delete all this and start over. And let's choose an instrument. I'm going to choose one of my favorite pianos called the Numa Player which is a free plugin you can download from the internet. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. And if I open it up, it starts off with a piano, which sounds like this. And again, we could save it as a preset, so it'll open right up. Let's rename it. Save it as an effects chain. Name it piano. And now, we could delete this. If I want to use that piano, just choose it with my effects chains right here. Or just right click, go to effects chains, and choose it in here. We could also use folders in this directory to make the effects chains even neater. Let's go back to our piano and let's try adding a string pad to it. So it sounds like that, and we could save it like that. Or just use it for strings by turning off the piano. One of my favorite sounds, let's turn the strings off, is to just use the electric piano and change the sound to a Wurlitzer. And let's add some damper noise, tone and time, and enable the tremolo for panning and depth and speed. To create a panning tremolo Wurlitzer. And again, we could save it based on what it does. And again, just right click it, go to effects chains, save selected effects as chain, paste in that name, and now it's saved. So again, we could add it right from our effects chains right here. Or again, just right click the effects button and choose it right here. And we can use this for any instrument we want. Let's try the Decent Sampler, which again, is another free instrument I'll leave a link to down below with a great bunch of presets. Let's choose this toy piano, have it load, and it sounds like this. Maybe add some reverb to it. And again, we could save it. Let's give it a name, copy it, right click, go to effects chains, Save selected effects as chain and paste the name right in here. So again, we could delete it and add it if we want right from our effects chains. Choose the toy piano and it opens and loads right away. Exactly as we saved it. Now with instruments, we could also save it as track templates, which will include the track as well. So let's rename the track and save this by right clicking as a track template. Give it the same name and save it. And now we could delete the track and just right click this button 
and choose to insert a track from template. And just choose our toy piano. And it opens up and loads exactly as we saved it. With everything we set up with our track, along with this preset. And let's choose another instrument. One of my favorites is one of the first keyboards I ever owned, the Casio VL1. Let's load this. Let's choose the Fantasy preset, which sounds like this. And we could tweak it, just the cutoff and the cue. Maybe add some reverb. And again, we could save it based on its name or preset. Rename it here. Rename it here. And instead of saving it as an effects chain, we could save it as a track template. Right click, go to save tracks as track template, give it that same name and save it. And now if I want that exact sound, just right click, insert track from template and choose that preset. And it opens up with this preset ready to go. exactly as we saved it or tweaked it. And again, just makes it easier to get directly to our favorite presets using our favorite plugins, whether it be a VST instrument or any other plugins you prefer, whether they be Reaper plugins or any third party you want. Just a lot quicker to use effects chains, or in this case, track templates. So that's pretty much it. That's using effects chains or track templates as presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. It's Reaper Mania. It's Reaper Mania. Let's go.